Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about C sharp. So let's get into it. So the question in question was Hi Frederick, what is your opinion on ASP.NET Core SQL Server performance, jobs, and future wise, is it worth learning compared to other backends? and databases like Node, Next.js, PHP, Laravel, Python, Django, or databases like Postgres. I like c -sharp. It's by far my favorite programming language. But I also see most people are interested in other languages and technologies, technologies and I wonder why. Although .NET outperforms them and it also is also cross-platform and Visual Studio is an, is an amazing idea. Well, there was a lot. There was a lot of stuff being said here. Now, uh, I will try my best to decipher that. Uh, so, my first opinion on .NET Core and the initiatives that are being taken by Microsoft, I will say that Microsoft is, in my opinion, at the very least, they are the IT company who kind of turn has try, has turned it all around. Honest to God, like they were. For the longest time, Microsoft were losing market shares. In I'm not saying in like you have to understand like they, this is an enormously, it's a gigantic company. They have so so much going for them, and there are so many pros. Like there, you cannot like just say yeah they're doing well or they're doing poorly because that's too complicated to say that. But the trend within the developer world was moving away from this traditional mindset that Microsoft very much represented it, where I will say that Oracle is still where at that point, like they're still that sort of company. And moving towards more of what Google is representing, and it is of course because of the initiatives that Google and like all the success that they've brought, not them alone and we're like we talk a lot about line, the Linux Foundation and we're talking about Mozilla and so forth there are many organizations who are pulling the developer community in the open source direction and we're moving more towards honest to God more idealistic mindsets more liberty freedom and things like that you have to understand guys there was a time when like I have co-workers who were working at IBM in a time when the programmer was not a hipster and I'm very, very like I, I have mixed feelings about that about that. But you and me and like everybody I'm assuming who is watching who are programmers, you're basically a commodity at this point. Your way, like your lifestyle. There are, I will not be surprised if someone can send me a link of some fashion show or something like that where they show you the programmer's outfit. And I'm assuming that you eat at Whole Foods, with like a beret and a scarf. And then you work on a Mac. That's at least how the front-end developers look. All of them. I've seen them. They all look like that. And so what I believe Microsoft has done with, and which is, I think, amazing. Like they have, they basically bought themselves into back into the community. They were very isolated for quite some time with the C# -sharp developers, and they have been isolated. And they're moving towards more uh, being more in line with what the the, how do I, I'm not going to say popular because I mean C Sharp is one of the world's biggest programming languages and the Microsoft platform, it's enormous. Like the .NET framework and like .NET Core, like there's so much going on, but they have been kind of in their own bubble that's going away and they're becoming much more inclusive and opening up um, um, uh, quite a lot. And I love that direction. I really do. I really think that Microsoft has started moving in, in a direction that I am very excited to see. And if, if I'm going to be honest, had I become a software developer today, because I had this choice between C Sharp and Java back in the day. And I'm still not going to say that uh, I know I went with Java because of the cross-platform thing. And that is still a very, it's still a very strong, it's a strong selling point for Java and their, uh, the, the, the adoption of the language and so forth. But overall, I think that C Sharp and what's happening in that ecosystem is, it's so great. I, there's so much going on there. It's really, really great. However, 
even that, though, I think that there are so many things that are going on here. The second part of this question is basically you're asking why are people using other languages even though C Sharp is a very nice language. It has a Visual Studio, which is honest. I mean, I agree. Like Visual Studio is like my, it's probably the best IDE that I know of. And Visual Studio Code is my favorite text editor. So, I mean, I, I, I love all of this stuff. Uh, the cross-platform thing, yes, it is true to a point. It is becoming increasingly true, but it has historically not been the case. What you have to understand, guys, is this thing that I've said before in many different ways. You are now doing the same thing that other people are doing to you or doing for themselves. You are projecting your own value system onto the decisions and the processes of all the other people that are doing programming. And that is why you have opinionated people on the forums who will tell you that Golang is the world's, be world's best programming, la lang programming language and if you're not using Golang you're an idiot. Uh, Java is the worst language in the world and if you're using it you're an idiot. Uh, PHP is still very relevant, it's the best, like, it's probably the biggest language out there. Uh, Node, everything doing ha happening in Node is like the trendiest, coolest thing out there is. Guys, you're doing this. You are doing the same thing right now. You are saying things such as, "Well, .NET outperforms all the other languages." That is absolutely that's a hundred percent false. Depending on how you look at it, there are situations where you will be correct, but there is also a lot of things that are incorrect with that statement. It's cross-platform. Well, yeah, but there are still many environmental differences between depending on what you're gonna do, right? And sure, Visual Studio is an amazing idea, but that doesn't ma matter to somebody who loves Emacs. So what I'm saying is that uh, you have to understand that the choice in programming language is not a logical thing all the time. For most people, it's a very emotional and very contextual thing. It really does come down to 99% of the time that you had an idea. You're gonna build something. You're gonna program something. Write some code. Or you're gonna be a programmer. And for some reason, you start at one point. You get introduced to programming somehow. It can be the first language, it can be the second language, it can be anything. And something clicks for you you start liking that stack or you like that language or you like the approach the, or the idea behind something for whatever reason and it's a very personal thing and now you're emotionally invested in that thing you even this person even states it states himself or herself that c sharp is by far their favorite language right there you've lost your objectivity because there are many situations where you would want to go with other languages but it is your favorite language this is an emotional thing and that is the thing I want you to really understand here guys most programmers do not think completely objectively and logically about this the stack that they're using and because and one part is because that's not how most people work and the other part is because you are always going to be able to argue this or that. Look, If you look hard enough, you're going to find something that is good about whatever stack you're using, and you're going to find things that are not so good with the stack that you're using. And just as with somebody who shouldn't really be dating somebody else because they're in an abusive relationship, if they love them, they will always have that argument. It doesn't matter what happens. They can always say, but I still love that person so much. Yes, I know they're horrible to me, but I still love them. It's the same thing. You can work in the worst fucking language in the world. I promise you there are people working in COBOL who kind of go, I know there's so many other languages out there, but I so, I so love this language. It's completely illogical, but that's how they feel about the thing. So what I want you to take away from this is that I think that C Sharp is, uh, Microsoft is making most of the right moves. Honest to God, I think that this is, uh, for me, I, I'm very impressed with the direction that they're heading in. And I'm very excited, uh, honest to God, to the point where I would say that uh, I'm going to have to work to not get deeper into the .NET frameworks uh, with all the possibilities that are going on there. With that said, I want you to also understand that most people have a preference and it's usually an emotional preference in the language that they pick. I have an emotional preference, I have languages that I like more than, than other languages and I have my own reasons why I do that but I also want you to understand that I try and I think that you should as well. Some people do this well, some people don't do it so, so well. 
be a true professional. And as a true professional, try your best to understand that the language that you pick should be a reflection of the needs that you have. Sometimes it doesn't matter and you can just indulge the emotional part in you and sometimes it really is the best thing even from an objective perspective but understand that the programming language and the stack that you're using is just it's just a tool it's just a delivery mechanism or a, a development process that you need to use in order to create ones and zeros or something similar to do some type of logic and you can do it in many many different ways and with different stacks and the thing that you should be focused on primarily is how well are these tools going to serve me in solving the problem that I'm dealing with? In some cases you're gonna have a chance to pick the perfect stack for the problem and in some cases the pragmatic thing to do is just to accept that yeah okay this language may not be my favorite language but it's probably the thing that is gonna get me to where I need to be with my solution the quickest. That is the true that is the best mindset that you can have because pro I promise you every single decision that you make in programming is going to have pros and cons. That's all it ever is. There's no objective way to say that one thing is going to be perfect and one thing is not going to be so perfect for every situation. You're going to have to pick your poison every single time. Have a great day.